Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. We decided we'd let uh, Ayaz, who's reviewed a lot of notebooks for us, Ayaz Akhtar from Know How and TNT, take a look at the latest Chromebook. This is the Acer C7. Acer C7 costs about $200, and it's one of those Chromebooks that's got Chrome OS on it, so you either love that or hate that right off the bat. What I was surprised by by this device is the fact that it actually has an Ethernet port because, you know, you want wow. to be connected. And a VGA port. VGA. These two are thrown out of so many different devices. <laughs> Ultrabooks throw very out. very old school. But it's available on the C7. HDMI out, which I didn't get to use because I don't know why I would. A couple of USB <laughs> ports. We got one over there and two on this side. And it's are they USB two or USB three? Two on one side. I believe that the one those of these are blue. Is, I believe that's these a are USB three. three. On this wow, side. that's great. So we've got some real power there and an SD card slot in the front. So lots and lots of ports. I really like that. The screen's 11.6 inches and it's got a resolution of 1366 by 768. So it's nicely packed for a small screen. But again, you're limited to Chrome OS. And this device really, I gotta say, let me down because I was getting something like four hours of battery life out of this yeah. thing. It has a 2,500 milliamp hour battery, which I think your phone has that. Yeah. And this thing's trying to power an 11.6 inch screen. It just doesn't do the job for me when it comes to this kind of experience. I've been using this as my actual laptop for a couple of days. But I as it is $200. 200 bucks. It's and less than your phone. It's a third what your phone costs. Well, it's, yeah, that, that's a, I guess that is a pro. On this device, I gotta say, it's light and sturdy. It wakes up really quickly from sleep. Like if I want to do that, open it up, it's going to open up. Well, it should be faster than that. It actually just went to sleep. <laughs> I think you put it to sleep. I put it to sleep. I went too fast. <laughs> Hang on. Let me open it up again. And, and the there it goes. Stays on. It goes right back. Is I really it an love Atom uh, processor? I believe it's, one, it's an yeah. Intel inside. So we've got that. The battery life is a huge con on this. Speaker placement, very strange. They're up front here, yeah. which is almost underneath. So if you're holding it in your lap, you'll muffle the audio. So the speakers are not loud, even if you have it on a tabletop. And of course, you've got the limited usage because of the Chrome OS operating system there. That's redundant. But I'm gonna use a standard that uh, you mentioned a while ago. Would I buy this with my own money for 199 bucks? No, this is a don't buy. <laughs> Do not spend $200. Not even 200 bucks. Not for this device because you can get a Nexus 7 that has a lot more battery life and the same amount of functionality, if not more, with more offline usage from mm. Google. And this tiny four cell battery just doesn't cut it for $200. Now, I do think and I, that it's aimed particularly because of the Ethernet and the VGA at, at a school environment, right? Mm -hmm. And if you had a classroom of 30 students, they're all at the desk. They're probably mostly plugged in. Maybe that would be a sensible choice. It's pretty good if you don't mind having it plugged in, if you're not trying to use it as your daily machine. If, you're, if it's like your third or fourth machine, maybe. It's a specialty maybe. product, right. yeah. But $200, I wouldn't even recommend this as your secondary device. Get a tablet. Instead. I think you make an excellent point. It's, it's a little bit less than the Nexus 7, but a Nexus 7 would be a lot more functional. And a better screen, too. And you can carry yeah. it around a lot easier better than this guy. This, this is right. light, but not as good as the 7. So, uh, pros and cons. Uh, it's light and sturdy. Wakes up really quickly. And like I said, lots and lots of ports. I got a lot. That's I, impressive. Really. I love all the ports on this device. The short battery life on the cons. Short battery life just really kills this yeah. device. Yeah. The speaker placement is lousy, and the Chrome OS just you know does misses the mark. And a do not buy. Do not buy for this the device. Acer Chromebook C7. All right. Hey, thank you, uh, Iaz Actor. Watch him on TNT Monday through yes, Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, 1800 UTC uh, for your daily dose of tech news. And of course, every Thursday we do know how. No Thursday, know how today, uh, this week because it's 4th of July. Independence Day. Next week, you're going to make me do the work. I'm going to do the work. We're going to do Lightroom 5. Are we? I, I believe we're actually making a book into an ebook. Oh, well, but then we never can, mind. I won't yeah. do any more work. <laughs> well, you can do that. We, we can discuss that later. I thought I was doing Lightroom 5. Really? Well, I heard it was not that. Carson said you're going to do that. But you know what? But he was also, he didn't understand that it was the 4th of July. So maybe he was just confused. In, uh, in we'll, we'll work it out. We'll always work uh, it no, out. No, that's fine. Ebook. <laughs> Great. Love it. Thank you, I asked. You're welcome.